Hey, what's up everybody? It's Ryan Oakley from WeddingPhotographyGig.com and this is step two of the complete wedding photography uh, website tutorial. And in this step, I'm going to show you how to uh, tweak the gallery settings from the gallery that we just uploaded from the last step in the tutorial. So this is our gallery page. Make sure you're logged into your SmugMug account and you'll see all these options up here, especially the important one which is tools. And go ahead and uh, let's just go ahead and um, um, update our gallery settings here from the default smug mug settings. And before we get into all of these settings, uh, I want to make sure that you um, uh, you don't get overwhelmed by the amount of <laughs> options here that smug mug gives you. Um, so a couple of tips here as you're going through these. I'm going to be kind of going pretty quick and just showing you exactly what I select and unselect for uh, the different options that I want to use on my site uh, for my client galleries. I'm not going to go into detail about we, what each one of these means and the main reason for that is because SmugMug does a really good job of explaining these things, probably better than I could. So one quick way to just, as you're going through, to figure out what each of these things are is you can just hover over the question mark and a little pop-up box comes up which explains what it is and sometimes that's enough for you to, to make a choice of what you want to do uh, but sometimes you need more help so by all means um, go up to this help section here and open that up in a new tab I've got two open I'll just close one and uh, when you get to this main page you can uh, these things are categorized all the help pages are categorized and pretty easy to get to customize your site's gonna be an important one uploading photos but this search works really well so if I just go gallery settings as I start typing um, the uh, smart search comes up and gallery settings is right there so it comes to a page and in this page it is set up so that all of these uh, links here correspond to our our headings in the uh, our subheadings in the uh, gallery setting page so if I wanted to know for example about let's say geography here I'd go under extras so if I come over here I go extras and it says geography allows your viewers to see your photos on maps if you have ge geography data to your photos and there's a link there I can go to that which talks about uh, geography stuff so there's just awesome amazing stuff here um, uh, that pretty much you can you can learn anything you need to learn about the smug mug uh, features and uh, and stuff like that if you do have any specific questions by all means go to the very bottom of a page and and click this ask a real person about this topic something comes up here which uh, uh, you can just type out your uh, subject line and your message send an email and you'll probably hear back from the smug mug guys uh, within the hour almost 24 7 these uh, smug mug heroes as you can see they're all painted as heroes um, these guys are amazing customer service and they love helping you out um, last uh, yeah anyways we'll start there the, I was gonna show you the um, the dgrim forums as well which is the community of smug mug users that are also available to help you out with different uh, questions you might have but I'll save that for a, a later step because I want to get into these uh, this, these uh, gallery settings here so let's start from the top in quick settings, uh, this is important. We don't have any quick settings set up because we just started our SmugMug account. But for instance, once we set up all of our individual settings for this client gallery, I want to be able to save these settings so I can use it for future galleries. So I'm going to do that up here in a in a bit. I'll show you that. Uh, Essentials is already pretty much set. Title and uh, category we've already selected. Nickname uh, is fine. How it shows up. Smart gallery settings is not relevant to this gallery, so I'm not going to worry about it. In our extras, uh, again, there's nothing I change here. Um, just don't need to. If you if you decide you want to add this stuff uh, for any of your galleries, that's absolutely fine. But for the site that I'm showing you how, we don't really need it. For the site I'm showing you how to set up, we don't really need it. Uh, look and feel, the theme is default, and that's fine. Clean, I'm going to say yes. Just um, I won't explain why. It's just that, that's what I want. Is I want clean. Camera info, I'm going to say no, not required. File names, I'm going to say no, not required. Thumbnails, I'm going to keep them as square because I think that looks nice. Gallery style, viewer controlled is fine with me. Auto sort, I'm going to sort this by date taken. With your wedding photos, you really want them to be in chronological order, so by date taken is uh, extremely important. You don't want your photo photos scattered all over the place. Ascending, so um, start with the first one and end with the last one. <laughs> good, good, good plan. Uh, password, um, 
So under security and privacy, SmugMug allows you to set a password for a gallery and set up a password hint. This is important for a lot of clients, so it's nice to have this option here, but by default, I'm just going to leave this uh, off for now. Privacy, uh, make sure you leave things as public so that people can actually find your uh, find your gallery and find your, for, find your photos. External links I'm going to leave on. Uh, protected, I'm going to move this as uh, on. I want my uh, images to be right-click protected, and I'm going to show you how to set that up in a minute so that it comes up with a custom uh, um, message when somebody tries to right-click your photos and tries to download or your image. Uh, a right-click message comes up saying, uh, hey, if you want to buy my <laughs> photo or buy a digital download or whatever, you can do that by going to the shopping cart instead of just uh, trying to rip off your images. So it's a nice way to do that. Uh, watermarking, I'm going to say no on that, but that's a cool feature you should definitely check out as you uh, get into your Smugmug site more. Hide owner, I'm going to say no. Largest size, X3 large is massive if you've been uploading your originals, which I recommend you do so that people can print large prints from your site. Um, there's no need to leave that as uh, on there for how your photo shows up on screens. X3 large is definitely large enough. Uh, so it's just a little added protection there by disabling the original. People can still print huge, even if you set that as X3. Social, photo rank, no, it's not important in my site from my experience, I've not needed that. Uh, comments, yes, I do want comments. Easy sharing, yes, I want easy sharing. Friends edit, nope, I don't want my friends to edit my photos, nor my family. I love them to pieces, but they're not allowed to edit my photos. <laughs> uh, printing, uh, yeah, for, you definitely wanna make uh, uh, the shopping cart enabled on your uh, gallery and for proof delay I go one and I'll explain this really really quick uh, proof delay allows me 24 hours smug mug if someone goes to buy some photos smug mug will send me an email saying somebody is is ordering photos you now have 24 hours one day to check out that order make sure the cropping is all correct and if, uh, even just check, check the images to make sure they're perfect. And if they're not, by all means, go into Photoshop, edit them, and or Lightroom and edit them, and then upload the new photos, and then that person will be ordering the, the best possible print. So it's just a little bit of a added feature that I enjoy using from SmugMug, so I'm gonna say one for that. Back printing and all this stuff. I'm gonna leave right now It's some fancy uh, SmugMug features that might be great once you've got your site up and running and you can spend time with that. But for now, I wanna get your site uh, up quick and this is by far the best settings to do that. So now that we've made those settings, I'm gonna go ahead and say save settings on this page as client gallery so that I can use these settings really quick to uh, update any new gallery I'm bringing in that, uh, that might be a client gallery. I'm gonna go ahead and hit save and go back and there we're done. So the gallery settings are complete and in the next tutorial, in the next step, I'm going to be uh, uploading three more galleries to fill out our site and uh, move on with the tutorial. So thanks for watching and I'll see you in step three.